Oh, yeah, sisters. And I'm going to put it to you like this. If I see you with a white man, it's up. I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to hear that spicy white shit no more. This shit is not a joke no more. I don't care what the fuck Shira Seven said. Oh, my God. You know what? Get with a man of your race. Get with an old white man. Bitch, I wish you would. Go ahead and do it. Do it. I, want, I wish I want to see you. Bitch, you're going to get that treatment, bitch. I'm going to give you that look. Just how I get a black man with a white girl on his arm. Bitch, you, you got a white... Oh, you got a white man. Hold it. Bitch, it's up for you. I'm not I'm not playing with y'all. I'm back on my racism. I'm back on it. Oh, my God. It's 2020 all over again. I just... Like, the, the racism just came off of me. Now it's back on, bitch. I'm locked in. Bitch, if I... I'm not playing with y'all. Like, I'm not playing with y'all. Y'all my sisters and all that. But all that... Uh, uh, mixed shit, I'm not doing it. I don't give a fuck. Uh, Hispanics too, bitch. I don't want to see no black skin babies. I don't. I won't. I don't give a fuck about her hair. I do not give a fuck about your kids' hair. I don't care. I do not care, bitch. It's bitch. It's blacks only, bitch. From now on, don't play. Do not play. Do not play. And it's specific blacks. I'm actually angry. Oh my god. Calm down, Najee. Calm down. Calm down. I'm actually angry, bitch. I'm, I promise you, I'm on your ass. I'm on your ass. If I see you with a white man, bitch, you you bitches is not off the hook no more. Fuck. I have decided that my personal revenge for this 2024 election fiasco is to be a menace to men on dating apps. I'm going to re-download probably, just, I guess, just Tinder and Hinge and match with every single man, say I'm down for hookups, give them my give them a Google voice number, talk with them, say, yeah, I'll come over. Yeah, I'm on my way. Yeah, I'm, I'm five minutes out. Uh, what do you mean? I'm here. Don't you see me? Guess what? I won't be there and I'm going to ruin your plans. Anytime you make plans with me, I will lie to you, stand you up, ghost you. I'm just going to be a menace because why not? Men don't like women. I'm going to start actively practicing misandry. And that's my personal goal for 2024. It's personal now. I'm coming for every single straight man in my family hi <laughs> y'all fucked around and found out and now this is gonna happen you're welcome so i am absolutely now i'm sure now i'm positive that the yearly hunting trip that y'all have been having that my father hosts that that my uncle goes on that my uncles my, my my brother my cousins that are like my brothers their friends that have all known me my entire life that cl claim to love and respect me have been having a yearly claim to love and respect women in general but obviously that's bullshit yearly hunting trip that they go on that falls the weekend after my parents anniversary weird almost like it was my dad's planned bachelor party and then y'all just never fucking stopped the bachelor party because isn't the quote the theme of that weekend that y'all always tell y'all been telling us for decades for what 30 something years y'all been doing this trip right it's like vegas <laughs> We don't, we don't, we don't, you, you can't talk about it. It's like, it's like Fight Club. You can't, you're not supposed to talk about it. I always thought that was really sus, you know? And then my now ex-husband, the first and last time he ever went on that trip with y'all, he tried to cheat on me and I found out about it. I'm not sure if y'all know that. <laughs> y'all invited the one who's going to get y'all fucked up. I found out, I found out that he attempted to cheat on me. Why did he feel comfortable the very first time going on a hunting trip with m all the men in my family? Why did he feel comfortable? I really fucking hope all your wives see this. Six years, six fucking years. It took us six fucking years to get our citizenship. I know people. <laughs> I know some people need more time. I know some people don't even don't ever get their citizenship. But we worked so hard for it. She worked so hard for it. I was just a kid. <laughs> she. We came here because she wanted a better life for us. She wanted a better education for us. She wanted for us to have a better future. And now, now this is all gonna be taken away because of him. Because of that. Stop it! Stop it! Oh my god! Stupid fucking <laughs> felon! He's a felon! He's a felon! He's a felon! I don't want him here anymore. Yeah, I can't. I'm not coming back. I'm never coming back here until he leaves the house. He is ruining my life, her life, and the lives of every single immigrant in this country. 
Can we give props to Kamala, though? She ran a really good campaign 100 days, though. But I genuinely don't understand why, you know, people think, yeah, let's vote for this guy. He's got great character. He's a fucking criminal, right? I stand with criminals, I guess. Back the blue, except for the felon, right? You hate women, but women also will vote to fucking hate women anyways. Women who never support themselves, actually. Women don't like each other. And they will vote for a rapist. Because a rapist always wins. Same thing with minorities, Latino people. What, what, what are we fucking doing? Black men went for Trump. I really don't know what y'all see. I feel like it's going to be more embarrassments over the next four years and y'all are going to get what's fucking coming. Don't fucking ask me for shit or expect me to do shit for your state or your, if you're suffering. So, um, Florida and Texas, um, all the swing states, fuck you. If you got a disaster going through, um, don't ask me. Genuinely don't ask me. Don't ask me. You got a hurricane going through? Well, fuck. You better deal with that shit, bitch. Find that fucking money to rebuild your house. Or, yeah. Natural disaster. Gun laws. School shootings. Like, please don't ask me. I don't care anymore. It's, I, I can't. Well, so from here on out, we don't touch DL conservative men ever, or any conservative, or we don't care if they're DL or not, actually. Unless it's necessary, like really necessary, fine. Other than that, no more. None. Zero. And if you've been doing that anyways, ew, come on, you know, you're better than that. You're all better than that. All right. Have a good day. I just texted my best friend. My best friend of 14 years. Literally half of my life. I'm 28. And I asked them who they voted for. They said Donald Trump. And they said, I'm assuming you voted the opposite. And I said, yes. And then my friend texted me and said, will you still be my friend? Half of my life, this person is my best friend. Hey, quick question. What the fuck? No. Hey, quick question. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Hey, quick question. Ah! I say we pass a law that requires anyone who voted for that orange piece of shit to wear their Trump hat 
24 seven. Because conservatives are dangerous for anyone who isn't white, Christian, or male. Completely dangerous. Like dynamite waiting to go off in your hand. So I think we should all get a public service warning. Don't you? I swear to God, if you idiots elect that demented man, I will burn this whole fucking place to the ground. So it's almost 2 a.m. Pacific time, which means it's well after polls have closed. And I am still just genuinely confused as to what happened. So if anyone wants to offer some insight, um, I'm happy to fucking take it. I just also think that maybe what I've noticed is that men are just genuinely not as concerned as women and don't quite take our concerns as seriously. And I don't know, that fucking sucks because I met a lot of women tonight who are just genuinely so fucking scared. Um, so yeah, let me, let me know, I guess. Like my stuff, I don't give a fuck about none of that because all, all, all the people that's violating my freaking life right now are Trump supporters. Y'all the only ones happy about this shit right now. Y'all the only ones. Y'all see I got my blue on. I done cried so fucking much that my blue went up. And I have to wear red because it's my freaking job. If I didn't have to wear this stupid ass color, I wouldn't be wearing it. Trust and believe me. Trust and believe me. I hate red so fucking much in my Right now, I don't even know what to do. I've never hated red so much in my life until now. I hate red. Hate the fact that I have to wear this color today. I really do. Because I don't represent Trump at all. Go Trump. Honey, you gonna say, we, we'll see if you still scream go Trump in the next few fucking months. Let's see. We'll see. All y'all say go Trump, we'll see if y'all still screaming at. We'll see. Because I bet you you won't. Because that man about to walk up in that White House. And he about to tear shit up. He about to tear shit up. It's about to be so much police brutality. It's about to be so many black men being pulled over and gunned down for no freaking reason. It's about to be so much unnecessary white racism. And guess what? It's just gonna get looked. It's gonna get looked past. Ain't nobody gonna say nothing about it. It's gonna get looked past with him in office. Oh, white privilege is gonna be so high right now, and it's so sad. It's so sad. Y'all really voted for a man to control our pussies. Y'all really voted for a man that want to make sure your ass can't never get an abortion. Y'all voted for a man so if you get raped, you will not, you have to keep that baby. Y'all voted for a man who's going to keep track of every miscarriage and pregnancy that goes, that happens. A man controlling our pussies. A man. A man who don't even carry kids. Don't even know shit about carrying kids. Y'all letting him control our bodies. I'm a lesbian. I don't have those issues with abortion and all of that. But I know for a fact people get raped on a daily basis. And for them to, force, to be forced to carry kids is sick. It's sick. It's very sick. I'm not responding to any of y'all <laughs> cause y'all don't get under my skin if you're not for Kamala I don't give a fuck about y'all it is what it is and if you're saying MAGA you're a fucking maggot you're a maggot so you're a maggot if you're saying MAGA you're a maggot oh no 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 why 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 <laughs> why 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 um, I'm surprised at the result 
But I'm not surprised. As a woman of color, I was so hopeful that a mixed race woman married to a Jewish guy could be elected president of this country. Uh -huh. And um, I think that it had nothing to do with policy. I think this was a referendum of um, cultural resentment in this country. Well, I, I think it. Um... The crazy thing to me is that if this guy does end up winning again, all of the people who voted for him will be like happy and they'll just be celebrating. And everyone else, everyone who feels threatened by him is fucking scared. Like we're we're scared for our lives we're scared for our friends like you have pro-life women dying because they their doctors are scared to treat them because of the repercussions of his last presidency how did we get here how did we get here to know that there is that much ignorance and that much hate in this country it's so terrifying it's so terrifying. How could you do this? How can you claim to be a Christian or anyone of moral values and support someone when every word out of his mouth is to hate, when he wants to pardon people who took over the Capitol? You do not do this to people that you love and care about. If you have a woman in your life, if you have an LGBTQ person in your life, if you have anyone in your life who's not white, how did we get here? Someone tell me, please. Someone really tell me, please. Because the only way I see it is that, like, either he cheated and that was his secret, or this country is built on so much hate, and we might never get out of this. If you voted for him, you are dead to me. Go ahead and block me. I don't give a shit. I really don't. I really don't.